Hello and good morning. My name is Carrie Smith. I live in Colorado and I'm an amateur chicken person. Um, I am improving my feeder system to the rat proof feeder system because I am having a heck of a time with wild birds. I don't think I have a problem with rats, but um, what's killing me is the wild birds. So I want to share uh, in my experience in day one of installation. So let's see. So this is my old feeder. I had it suspended from a wire um, off the ground like this, off the ground to my chicken coop. It's a great little feeder. It works well, but unless you have an enclosed run with a roof and everything, the wild birds just get attracted to it. So this is my chicken house. As you can see, I've tried hanging CDs and scare tape to keep the little blackbirds out and it just doesn't work. They don't care. Um, and if you can look, they're just roosting and causing, oh my gosh, a disgusting mess. Um, I've fought them for a couple of years now and, and I'm done. So um, I decided to install the rat proof chicken feeder. So I mounted it on the back of the wall here. Um, I didn't use the board and I also used their new mounting bracket in there, but I had this one by two, so I had to install another board. So to help close the gap. I also know that they said that the trundle has to bottom out. So I had this piece of uh, wooden beam that I cut um, so that the trundle will bottom out and the chickens don't have to balance. I do use the deep litter method. So um, uh, that's why I put it on this block so that it can bottom out for sure. I do have a mess to clean up because I tried to pull the, pour the food in and forgot the lip. So I'm going to get on that. but. Um, here's the chicken feeder installed in my little run. My chickens mainly free range, so this is just where they spend the morning, but I have high hopes that this is going to work out. Um, I think I've followed the installation instructions pretty well, so here's hoping. Can you figure it out? Let's do it again. Here we go. There you go. Jump up there. Jump over the edge. Oh, baby. Let's see if you do it. Here we go. Two stroke feeder set up I have. So I soft close is adjusted as back as far as I can. I have the spring in the furthest pole because honestly if it's any closer then there's not enough spring tension. I think it's the weight of this duck step, frankly. Um, it's just, you're right, is refined balance. As you can see, the door is just not closing 100%. Is it close? Yeah. Just not perfect. But it's close. Training day one. And you can see my little bantam has figured this out. Look at that. One day, that's all it took. Uh, been watching the flock all day and they pretty much got this figured out. They rest nicely, they eat, and uh, as you can hear, I've got all these wild birds around me in the trees. See them all up there? Hello. There they are. And they, thankfully, have not been able to access the food. Oh look, here comes their buddy. Jump off. They go around. And she goes. And she goes <laughs> around again. And look at that success. She figured it out. <laughs> 